Hi guys, how's it going? So today I'm using the 39L Hit The Lights palette by Morphe Brushes. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'm using Prime It Boost It by Lancome. Sorry it's a little blurry there, but I just take a little bit of this and just rub it all over my eyelid. I also run some along my lower lash line and a little bit through my brows as well. First shade I'm going to pick up is called My Type and I'm using this on a JH35 and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this shade all over my crease. I'm just going back and forth and in little circular motions. Next shade I'm going to pick up is called Hookup and this I'm taking on a JH33 and I'm applying this in the crease as well. This is a more dense brush, a smaller brush so it won't spread out the product as wide as the other brush. And I'm just taking this back and forth all throughout the crease. I'm making sure that it's um, pigmented all the same. The pigment is the same all across the crease. After that I go back in with a JH35 and I take a little bit more of my type and just apply it on the upper part of this second shade. And I'm just blending back and forth. Next I'm going to take this shade Makeout Sesh and I'm using this on a JH41 and I'm applying this all over my lid. So I'm just grabbing a little bit at a time and just packing this on to my eyelid. And I'm taking it right up into the crease. And then I'm going back in with a JH33 and I'm just blending in the crease. I'm not putting any additional product on this brush. So on my lower lash line, I'm taking that same color makeout sesh, which is the dark brown. And I'm using this on a JH43 and just packing this along the lash line. Sorry, you can't see me there. And then I go in with a pencil brush, which is a JH38. And I take the other brown shade, Hookup, and I apply it right underneath the darker brown. And I'm just blending this out and just smoking it out on the lower lash line. Now I'm taking the shade Beam and I'm using this to highlight my brow bone. I always start off with the highest point of my brow bone and then blend downwards. And I always try to avoid the beginning part of my brow. You don't want to put highlight there because it looks funny. After that I go in with the JH35 and I just blend right underneath that line. Now I'm applying some eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay Waterline Pencil in the shade Legend. And I also take some and apply on my top waterline as well. And then I'm going in with the Morphe Liquid Liner in the shade Ink. And I'm just drawing a very thin line across my upper lash line. Nothing super dramatic. I just want to make sure that my lash band is covered when I apply my lashes. And for lashes, I'm using Lily Lashes in the style San Diego. So I just take them on the tweezer and then I just pop them right on after I apply the glue. I usually let the glue dry for about 30 seconds so that way it doesn't slip and slide all over the lash band. But 
easy as that. And same thing on the other side. And then I'm going in with some mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Perm Mascara. The Perm Me Up Mascara, so it's the curved one. I just apply some on my lower lash line and a little bit on the top as well. And now I'm going to go move on to my brows. First thing I do is comb them through with a spoolie. And then I start off at the bottom portion of my brow and I draw a straight line all the way across. And then I do the same thing up on top, but I don't start from the beginning. I start like, like right about there. So that way I have the shape that I want and then I just fill in the, the middle. And the reason I leave that beginning part blank is because the hairs grow upward in that on that spot. So then um, I usually like to use the brow in the direction, the, the pencil in the direction that the hair grows. So after I filled it in, I'll go back in with the spoolie and I'll just comb it through one more time just to blend everything out. And you can see the difference. That's a done brow and the not done brow. So same thing on the other side. And I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. So then I just clean up underneath my eyes and get started on my face. So first thing I'm applying on my face is primer. This is the Blur and Go Primer stick by Lancome. So I like to apply this in the center of my face and then I follow up with La Base Pro Primer on the rest of my face. This is also by Lancome. And sorry if you notice me talking here. I actually did a talk through for this video but I didn't like how the sound came out so I decided to just do a voiceover. So I'm using the Il Maquillage Foundation. Um, I've used this foundation a couple of times. It's actually really nice and they're really good about matching your shade too because you know you can only buy this online but I was really surprised about how close they come to your actual shade. And the foundation is really good too. It lasts really good throughout the day. It doesn't feel super thick or heavy on the skin. It has a nice soft matte finish to it and overall I have no complaints. So I always like to uh, push the product into my skin first. As you notice, I'm always tapping the foundation first and then I'll go over and sweep it and go in little circular motions. And the brush I'm using here, it is the M439 by Morphe. I'm also using the concealer by Il Maquillage and the concealer, I wasn't that impressed by it. I felt like the consistency of it is a little bit thinner than I usually like. So I did have to put a little bit um, more than I usually apply, but I mean, it's fine. It worked out okay. And the brush I'm using to blend out the concealer is a IT brush. I'll list the number down below. And also like to take whatever is like left over from my concealer brush and apply it like all around the eye area and along the center of my forehead too. And then I'll always switch over to a smaller blending brush and get the inner corner of my eye. And just blend it all over. And same thing on the other side. So whenever I'm blending concealer, I always start off at the bottom part of the concealer and I'll slowly work my way upwards to ride it along my lower lash line. Next I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer in place. I'm using the Laura Mercier 
secret brightening powder for the under eyes and the brush I'm using is a E48. I've started using this powder a few months ago and I like it a lot. I feel like it's much better for me than the actual translucent powder. The one that's meant for like the face. I like the brightening one a little bit better. But they're both really good. And for the rest of my face, I'm using the regular translucent loose powder. The brush I'm using is a R2. And to bronze my face, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the shade Medium. I'm using the bronzer, the bronzing shade, which is called Shadow Play, I think, and the brush I'm using is a JH05. So I always start off at the top portion of my cheekbones, and then I blend downwards and upwards. And then I also run some along my forehead as well. And then, of course, I'm going to do my jawline right after. And to bronze up my nose, I switched over to a smaller brush. This is the M504. And also just apply a little bit on underneath my lips. Now I'm using the JH07, I'm taking the lighter shade from the palette, which is called Lyric, and I'm just kind of cleaning up the bronzer. Just carving out the cheeks, and then I do some along the sides of my nose and underneath my eyes. And a little bit on my forehead too, and along the center of my nose. For blush, I'm using a Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Fig Pop, and the brush I'm using is an E4. So I always like to smile and then start the blush off right at the apple of my cheek and blend upwards and backwards. For highlight, I am using the Jaclyn Loose Highlighter in the shade Bomb, and I'm using a J03 brush here, which is a tiny little fan brush. So I started off, uh, I put it on the top of my cheekbones. Right here, I put a little bit too much on, so I had to switch over to a different brush. I, I'm using the J02 just to kind of blend that out. I'm using that same brush just to pop some highlighter on the tip of my nose and then a little bit along the bridge as well and on top of my lips. For the inner corner, I'm also using the same highlighter and I'm using a E36 brush. And now for the lips, I'm starting off with Lolita Lip Liner by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to outline the top of my lips and also along the bottom. And usually I fill it in all the way, but this time I didn't. I just lined it. 
And for lipstick, I'm using Fenty Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unbutton. This is a nice, pretty nude shade. And then I'm just going to top that off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is a really easy look to create. You don't necessarily need the same palette I use. Just if you have those same colors, you can easily recreate this look. And here we are. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in my next video. And I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this time. Take care. Bye.